What's up guys, this is Shana and today we're going to check out Ilham Residence in Elmina City or City of Elmina Yeah, let's go So today we are back here in City of Elmina and my friends called me up to actually check out their latest show unit of Ilham Residence which is their latest stratified project which is very very compelling it's so appealing to the public that phase one was sold out and now they are currently going for their phase two so today we are here to check that out but before that let's check out the sales gallery first so just to get our coordinates right it's located along the Gatri Corridor Expressway, the GCE and this will be the very famous park currently lah. and you have a bridge that's very significant so they launched several things Almina Valley 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Almina Green 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as well then you have Almina Gardens and that will be the site that we're going to check out today which is Ilham Residence so we are now currently in the show unit here and it's strategically located right next to Thermo which is the brand new commercial area then in order to go back to Ilham. You need to drive through this road surrounded by two lakes, right? Then you only access to your site over here. So Ilham Residence is located pretty close to the commercial area and you will have the city square in the future. You also have the parks this side as well as the main one that everybody goes now. What's exciting, this will be the Almina city center and there will be a brand new mall ever since our visit here to elmina the concern has always been the lack of commercial activities so it's been years after that development and now we are starting to see the completion of the commercial elements we have thermal where the structure is almost up ready then we also have a brand new lakeside mall this is so cool this looks like an alfresco outdoor shopping kind of setting wow Nice. So right after the roundabout, right after the lakes, what you will see is parks on the left. You have two rows of shop offices on the right and you drive all the way through to get to see the show units on the left. The unit that we're going to check out today for Ilham Residence 1 will be Type 2C. Bear in mind this is a corner lot 25 by 60. Built up will be 1661 square feet. And the main difference is this will have a 5 feet extra land at the side. Not a lot but it's significant because it opens up the side profiles of the house so this is a corner lot yeah guys so intermediate there will be certain difference in the interiors i'll explain those later so when you come into the car porch there'll be a foyer here this side and the main door will be from the side so when you come in this will be the living and dining then you have the kitchen already and there will be a guest bedroom on the bottom then when you go upstairs you will have three bedrooms one two and principal bedroom here with its own suite and then these two bedrooms will be sharing the bathroom above and what you can see here because it's 25 by 60 right actually the body is 20 by 60 which is pretty similar to their new face lah. so for projects of ilham residence there won't be any front gate there will be barriers from the side and the back but at the front is open and that is kind of controversial to a lot of people who are not used to strata projects and a limit to strata projects again you don't get to change or alter the facade of the building not you cannot but you need to apply for the GMB's approval and one thing to take note will be the aircraft that's pretty frequent because this is within the pathway. Every time you take flight, domestic flights, right, you will fly past Elmina. So this will be a 20 feet gate and there will be a concrete imprint front car porch. I like that there's a lot of windows top and bottom because that will be the main source of lights for terrace houses. And they still stick to their bricks design for their language and it's fully cantilever so if you look to the side right there won't be a beam or a column to support it because the car porch is lightweight la. then on this side you will have the meters for your electrical readings this side you will have the refuse right, for you to put your rubbish and all all right all tiled up that's nice and this will also be the access for your letterbox okay Coming into the front foyer, you will have tiles and it's raised a little bit. How I wish it could be done in a more gentle manner, but I think this is still somewhat gentle. If you are on a wheelchair, it's still tolerable. But I just wish there could be a ramp somewhat connected. Lah. But I really like the front portion of the house. Almost the entire facade 
is open up for the window. It's going to be so bright in the interiors. Then you will have brickworks for your facade treatments. And it's joined via this groove line. Nice, very tidy. And this will be the windows that connect to the staircase, right? So if you are upstairs, you can always just peek via the staircase outside so you know who's on the front door. And let's go into the... Okay, so coming in to the unit, this will be the living room, then the dining, then the kitchen. It's a rather short layout, 60 feet, but I think it's compact, it's open. Plus you have a bedroom downstairs. The ceiling height for this unit is around 3 meters. And also do take note, because this is a corner unit, the placements of the spaces are also different. So you have tile floorings, and I always like how they design their staircase because they start a little bit early on the steps so they can terminate the joints here. This is a very nicely joint. You know, you will have that jagged triangle piece always. And the space below the staircase, you can always partition it up, then treat it as a storage space if you want to, but that will also shorten the feeling of the space. Then walking over to this side, you will pass through the bedroom. This will be the kitchen space. And what I like about this space is that's already somewhat area for you to have a partition so that isolates out the smell if you're doing heavy cooking. So the width of the kitchen space is 2.7 meters. It's wide enough for you to have two walking counters and still have a lot of space in between. Just that maybe you need to work a bit harder. <laughs> but anyway, I want to talk about the township development of Elmina itself. So when there's a new township or a new address, the first thing they need to think about would be infrastructures which is roads, street lights, landscapes, irrigation solutions which are retention ponds, the TMB substations and etc. Right? So get all those up first, then only they are ready for launch where they will introduce products that will quickly build population. So in Malaysia, it will be the individual title terrace houses and it has sold extremely well in Elmina. You have the Elmina Valley series, you have the Elmina Green series, you have the Elmina Garden series and that is how they play with the prices also. So you have the more standard market one, then you have the slightly cheaper variation, then you have the more exclusive that is surrounded by parks. Then when all those are building, then the next level of needs will be commercials. Hence they launched Termu, which is the commercial shop office then you have the upcoming mall as well. Then after the maturity level, now everybody know where is Elmina. For the developer, in order to diversify the product range, now they introduce a stratified one. But we will always need to address the main difference ultimately for strata and individual title will be the maintenance cost. But as mentioned just now, they strategically place a centralized clubhouse for all Ilham residence customers in order to control the maintenance cost. La. The next difference then would be the JMB participation in how the overall facade will look like. Now in order to change or extend your kitchen, you will need to get JMB's approval. It means, in other words, to ask your neighbors for opinions. Because now if you look in Amina Valley, there will be certain changes to the facade design. The original one, I really liked it, but after five to six years, when individual preferences are applied, it looks kinda rojak. Lo. So let's continue with the kitchen. This will be the fridge and the cabinets on both sides. Then this is where you can put your oven, your sink, and they maximize the side profile really nicely. Then they have this corner window. You have your washer this side. And this will be the ground floor bathroom. And that will be shared by the ground floor bedroom as well. So you have Johnson Swiss for WC. The shower area is on the center because it's a shared bathroom. Then you will have Johnson Swiss for your WC as well. You also have a window for ventilation purposes. Shared bathrooms are always very big in size. Lah. So it's either you want privacy or you want scale. This one, it's scale. <laughs> Another reason why this 60 feet looks slightly longer is because of the openings. Let's say if this is solid, immediately the boundary will be clearly illustrated. So when this is a glass door, it's very open, but then like, hey, this is not safe as security. Then in a strata development, the security measures are way tighter. So indirectly, that gives you better indoor-outdoor relationship. So when your neighbors pass by or whatsoever, if you are not comfortable, you can always frost this up. And the same theory applies to the other 
facade profile so you can see window 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 the entire piece of that will be window and window on the side as well this feels really spacious but if you look into the stats it's 20 by 60 well done moving on this will be the ground floor bedroom and they partition this using a sliding door that saves space it can either be a bedroom or a workstation right now you're gonna have to work from home culture and that really changes the perspective of things really it's okay now to stay slightly away from the city and with the same budget right that allows you to afford something more ideal to your likings like ilham one launched around 600 over thousand and ilham two which is the brand new one they are going to sell around 700 ish so it becomes very important to think about 700 over thousand an apartment in a city or you want 700,000 slightly further away but you get an environment, a landed home that is more to your liking if you want to raise a family. Well, that also depends on the frequency you need to be in the office, lah, right? But the main, 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 main issue right here will be the completion of the Dash Highway. In accordance to my network, it's going to be completed this year around August, I think. But if you're getting this phase, it's fine because this is going to be completed in 36 months time after you sign the SBA. So that's another three years down the road. And this bedroom also gets access visually to the back lane. The back lanes are all landscape. So the space that's always treated as a negative space, whether it be drains and aircon compressors, now it will be different because it will be landscape and decorated. But overall, I really enjoy the split between the kitchen and the bedroom. It's nicely done. And also the placement of the bathroom, so more to the bedroom side and it opens up the kitchen space. Let's go upstairs. But there's nothing I can do. I can never get to you. So I'm looking for One thing to point out, the structural elements are really tidy. You don't see a lot of columns and beams. It's just strategically arranged. So you have timber staircase with steel handrails. And the width is around 4 feet. At the landing area, there will be these windows. And we spoke about the clearance height for this and this is done differently. So there's always a debate on how much more space should be given to the upper floor and I think this is the toilet. Right on top there will be an opening so the hot air from the unit can rise up and it also acts as a source of light. So think of it as an intermediate unit, right? This then becomes really important. I think at the upper floor is where you can really feel the restriction and difference in terms of space. Now, would you want three larger size bedrooms or you want a family hall and then you compromise on the size of the bedroom. Interesting debate, right? So let's check out the first bedroom. The timber flooring actually continues into the bedrooms and the size is decent. You can fit the wardrobe there and a queen size bed. You can still have bedside tables and a lot of circulation space here. Very nice. Then the window profiles will be like that or too bright. Wait. So the windows will be built on curbs and the ceiling height is also similar, three meters, which is very nice. Then this will be the access to the shared bathroom, I think. Yeah, so this is the shared bathroom and this will be the next user. I think this usage of door is smart. If not, right, here will be another door, so you need to compromise more space, then uh, it's gonna be a havoc. And the toilet design is somewhat similar, full height wall tiles. Then you have Johnson Swiss Basin and WC. No shower screen, but you have a window frosted up for source of light and ventilation and you have a shower here and again because this is a shared bathroom hence the size is a bit bigger la. then moving into the next bedroom it's a little bit smaller in terms of size especially the width because this is like half of the building but again this is a corner lot hence this design of window will not be here in an intermediate design so maybe the only one you will have will be at the end here. Well, it's still sufficient as long as there are windows, it will be fine. After you put your wardrobe here, this will be the access to the similar bathroom. After that, this will be the principal bedroom. So again, with the similar treatment of laminated timber floor, you have full wall of cabinet space here. 
again with a 3 meter ceiling height and the space feels really huge because the length right from wall to wall here is 4.5 meters and it's around 4 meters from this length it's so wide it does not feel like a 2060 at all where I really think it's good because the paymaster totally deserves it <laughs> then in terms of window profiles it's going to be like that and after you open up the window it just enhances the quality of the space so much after putting in a king size bed bedside tables or wardrobe space you still have corridor space here and look at this with insane then this will be the ensuite principal bathroom and this will be the level that needs to be debated between the clearance height below but i'm glad that did this because the scale of the bathroom is amazing although you cannot fit up for him for her basin but i think it's nice it's good enough full height water house again Johnson switch wc and basin you have a shower set here and the bathroom is bright because of this window panel as well it's huge and it's just very cool to observe the township really growing itself like the roads last time really no people one but now you can see traffic and during the weekends we all know that the park is always full with people up to that level where now the police bantuan need to put in code to restrict double parking because that will hinder the traffic and it's a very popular location for cyclists as well because it's very close to nature and we have somewhat talked about that on the previous episode anyway do remember that this is their phase one product but similar treatments is going to be applied to their phase two which is ilham residence two and i think let's drill down to that but they are sold out already so for ilham residence two the size will range from 20 by 60 to the largest type d is 24 by 65 so the length is almost the same, longest 65, the width longest is 24. And the layout will be somewhat similar and that's a good thing. Because they have done this so many times, they don't really need to prove anything more as they have found the magic formula for landed properties. So this will be the scale model for Ilham Residence. Two, and this is 277 units in total generally you can see based on the orientation most of the units are trying to face north south so there are some like this but just they're just trying to maximize the land area lah. so when you come in here there will be a guard house here so there will be pavements and what's unique you can see that in between houses you have decorated back lanes that's good also you will have cow de sacs at each end of the road so that's for security purposes it means that residents of that lane will only use that road we have this main road inside that connects into this spinal layout and again at the end of each small road will be a cow de sac and at the end of the spine road there will be an empty unit there because no one wants to face a junction so it's that usual efficient effective layout just that because this is a stratified title right there are some difference because they have this private area for the residents it's that private playground the community center that tarika and that surau and these are only for residents of ilham residents too so in every phase they will have their own private ones but you'll notice that it's weird where's the clubhouse right so in order to reduce the maintenance cost um, what they did is they joined all the requirements for clubhouse into one main one outside of all these sort of high projects every residence will get two years of membership into the clubhouse after two years it depends on you whether you want to renew or not indirectly your maintenance cost covers landscape security and the minimal maintenance of the playground area and the community center and stuff like that lah. Okay, so we are now in E Boulevard from Denai Alam, which is the adjacent township 
and this is the nearest commercial area for the residents in Elmina currently. And what you can see now, there's a lot of brand new shops. Watson is up, the banks are up, a lot of bicycle shops, a lot of cafes, a lot of dentist clinics, etc. So that's the sophistication of commercial already. It's beyond the Dobi and Mama and convenience stores. And that signifies the population around this area. And now we are at the park adjacent to Ilham residence. You have the Twin Lakes, right? And that will be the elements welcoming you back every single day. And it's very, very matured already. So this area, this part of the town is already seven years. And you can see the trees are matured. And the shops in front, so those are Nadi. You have the clinics, you have the mamas, you have the convenience stalls, even an early child development center. So that's good, right? Before Termu is even up. So this is also very, very close to Termu. And it's also the closest, unfortunately, to the Gambong Gambong. So this is at the edge of the city of Elmina But you can really feel the generosity of space From the road, a cyclist and pedestrian pathway Then you have this empty space for people to just chill Then you have this pathway again around the lake Then you have hardscapes before you reach the water And now because it's rainy season Therefore the colour is kind of muddy right now Ultimately, it's a retention pond. I think that's all for the development this round. It's now time for Sean take three on three. The three things I like about Ilham Residence, number one, this being the very first strata development within the precinct that is considered the most atas la, because here is where you have the semi-dis and all. And it also signifies the growth of the township. Finally, now people not only go for quantity of space, they also want to go for quality. And it's going to be a big debate ultimately between individual title and strata title housing and it depends on which kind of ownership that you prefer ultimately as an owner but from an empty piece of land we have witnessed the entire growth of the township and now we have reached the part where people pursue luxury or a specific type of living lifestyle they have come seriously a very very long way and number two will be the strength of the developer they are very well known for township developments hence you can see the entire treatments right is somewhat like a formula for them. The road width is amazing, the tree density is amazing. The allowance of space for bicycle lanes, pathways, parks, lakes, and attractive features for people to come and take Instagram pictures, and the preservation of the nature elements. So you have the dam there for the forest reserve. All of those things look so easy to them and it's amazing. So if you think about buying a house, right, actually it's the environment that forms your living lifestyle and in Almina Ilham residence, it's really, really cool. And the third point personally would be the location of Ilham residence. So this is very close to Almina Gardens. And this part of Almina is not the popular site where it's congested on weekends. So if I prefer serenity and privacy of the road, generally there are less users for the roads as well because of all the semi-dicious, the density are just way lesser. Plus Ilham residence is located adjacent to this park that we are chilling right now. In the evenings here, it's going to be residents only. And what's very important to me will be the proximity to the commercial area. So you have Nadi right in front, then you have Termo coming up very fast. Well, for the three things I don't like will be the introduction of strata development actually for their landed products. That's because I think they have perfected the individual title. But now what was beyond my expectation was the launch of a strata landed project. Well, in other words, it's also good because now people do have a choice, right? So in between an individual title house versus a strata project, what will be the main difference? Is it under an RA, a resident association, or is it under a joint management body, a, a JMB? Then can you do extension or not? For individual title, by all means, so JMB, you need permission from the management. Not cannot, but it's less likely. Also the difference will include certain level of maintenance fees, but just that now, as a buyer, do I buy individual title or do I buy strata? But the good thing is everything sold out lah, so you don't have to make that comparison ultimately. Next would be the scale of 20 by 60. So the size that we are more familiar for terrace houses will be 22 75, right? But 20 to 60, sometimes you will need to compromise the spaces a little bit. But what's good is with their experience in abundance in building terrace houses, right? They somewhat have the formula to make the 2060 looks okay. Also, they have this spirit of improving from the previous product. So like from Ilham Residence, they don't have a slope into the house in Ilham Residence they have it so some people think that the kitchen might be too small and I don't need the bedroom downstairs then in their latest launch you have an option whether to pick the unit without the bedroom downstairs or with the bedroom downstairs so you want a mega kitchen or you want a bedroom downstairs after that will be the lack of commercial areas 
within Elmina itself. So for the earlier phase of Elmina Valleys and Greens, for those residents, right, in order to find a place to eat, you need to go to Kampong Subang or you travel a bit further to Sungai Buloh. But I think looking at the progress of Termu, looking at the progress of the mall, looking at Nadi, now we have more tenants. Yeah, a lot of people also do hang out at E Boulevard, where now it's so lively. But from a developer's perspective, the commercial area can only come after the population is merged. But if you're buying Ilham residence three years down the road, I think everything would be up by then. So that's okay, I guess. And I think that's all for this episode. What an amazing documentation process. Again, another milestone to the township. Adjacent next to Gatri. Last time you think about it, right? Wow, so far, got people made now. It's such a successful township and it's growing by the day. So it's very, very cool. Also a debate to think about within that budget of 700 to 800,000 and the culture of working from home. Does it make sense now? to stay slightly away from town and very interesting debate and I think that's all for this episode thank you very much to the team for having me and if you really like this episode like it, share it and even subscribe for more information like this until next time this is Sean Tan Ciao